laid towards my face. Oh, it's because it's super tiny. I'm going to take it out right now. Oh, cool. It comes in a little case. Oh, I can hang it on my bag. Oh, here's the camera mount. Some CTV and CTO. And the light itself. Oh, wow, this is extremely tiny. I didn't know it was actually this small. Oh. All right, I'm going to test out the brightness right now. Whoa. It's actually really bright. How bright is that on me? Oh, wow. I think this comes up. Oh. Magnetic. as much as I should. What's up guys, Jonathan here, welcome back to the vlog. Sorry I haven't vlogged for a while. It's just sometimes I feel sketchy walking around with this big ass camera and you just never know what's gonna, wait what? Somebody's stealing my camera. Okay guys, so I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the golden hour shots that I wanted for you. That's, that's kind of what this video is about. It's about the best time of day to shoot and it's really easy to do to do that. So I just wish I had my camera. Hey, I think that's my camera. My camera. No way, my camera. What are you doing out here? I miss you so much. Mm. Okay guys, so I've got my camera back, but I miscalculated the sun and I wasn't able to get those nice golden shots for you. And that, I think that's the problem with getting golden hour shots is you don't know exactly where the sun is going to hit, so it's something that you have to time in advance. Okay guys, so I just got these two packages in the mail and well, they're pretty exciting and I've seen kind of a couple of reviews, so it's kind of not too exciting, but it's always exciting when you get to open stuff. And the thing is, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in every single one of my videos, there is one thing that makes them all different. And that is the inconsistent lighting. Now, the reason for that is because, well, I have one LED panel right there. Sometimes I use that to bounce the light off and bright the whole room. I use a little aperture light to do a key light to, or fill light to fill in my face. I used to use a Kino Flow, a tubing clean Kino Flow, and I would use that. Or sometimes I would use a small tungsten Fresnel, and you would get the tungsten look. I mean, I could do a montage of every single different looking light. Um, I even used to use a, hold, let me find it. I even used to use a China ball, which, I mean, these things are great. I think you could probably get like two for less than 20 bucks because everything is just so cheap. But I mean, you, you just you kind of want something that's a little more consistent and better. So let's open this up. Okay, so that's that's what I got. Oh, it's pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited. I've heard good things about these, but after checking out the reviews, I've uh, kind of heard otherwise, but we'll see. Oh, oh it's kind of heavy. Oh, I like the bag though. Oh yeah, that's a nice bag. Okay, so, here we go. So here's the light, the fixture itself, the little dome, some cables, some other cables. I'm guessing this is like the XLR connection. This looks like the big, the controller. Let's see, oh, this looks nice. Having some uh, user error here. Look at this guy. Now this looks cool. It's a really small light. Okay, so this is a pretty cool little controller. Boop, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. Hey, they came with the battery. How bad can this light be? So, 
I plugged this guy in. I'm not going to. I'm gonna run it for like maybe an hour, and I'm going to let everything run. I'm gonna put it like at medium settings and just test the light out and make sure everything works, because I've heard that this light sometimes gives out within five minutes. But I think that's like a user error. Sometimes people just get the light and boom, they blast it on like full power and it just blows out the light. So I'm gonna test the light out and see how that goes. Okay, cool, so everything's responsive and it's at the absolute lowest setting. I'm not going to blast this guy at all. Okay, so the Aperture 120D is actually lighting me now. And I got one more thing to go with this light and that's probably one of the most important set accessories that you'll need as a video filmmaker for YouTube or a photography type person career. Look, either way, you, you use this for either video or photography, and I got this accessory because you're going to want to definitely have this with this Aperture 120D. By the way, don't mind my family out there, they're just having fun, it's Friday night, and I'm over here just opening stuff. Smells like a brand new car. Empty pocket. Okay, I think this goes inside the light dome. I think this is the big part of it that uh, that's the cover, so you can like you know, it hits the light. Here's the connection itself. Is it supposed to move like that? Pretty big. Whoa. Yeah, it is pretty big. Yeah, so that's like the diffusion on the inside of it. And I'm about to put the whole thing around. God, this thing is huge. What the frick? It's kind of worth it though, in a way. Okay, I'm back at it. Okay, so this is the completed dome. It looks awesome. And I can't wait to try it. Tomorrow I'm gonna try it on a, on a little shoot. But um, I'll let you guys how that goes too. So this isn't really the end of this vlog, but uh, yeah, see you guys a little later. But so far, I'm pretty excited about all this stuff. Uh, everything's working good. The light is still on. It's not giving me any problems. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I like it. It's a little bit of work, but it's not that bad. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or, or I'll see you guys in a little bit.